advocates for the victims of human trafficking are stepping up their game. Last year, Maryland ranked fourth in the number of sex trafficking cases per capita, according to the National Trafficking Hotline. WJZ is live. Pat Warren reports on the development of a network of services and shelters. That's right. Advocates are making it a priority for them to be able to contact each other quickly and efficiently. 19 counts of human trafficking and prostitution involving adult women and underage girls were lodged against a Baltimore man in June. Maryland's location in the I-95 corridor makes it prime for human trafficking and a focal point for raising up shelter programs for the victims of human trafficking. Maryland has a way to go. Our victim services landscape is very, very sparse. Jean Allard is the founder of the Samaritan Women, which is committed to victim services. Melissa Yeo is director of the National Trafficking Sheltered Alliance dedicated to better collaboration between agencies. The Department of Justice says there's between 100 and 300,000 potential victims here in the U.S. alone. It's a huge industry, and we have only been able to identify less than 500 programs in the country serving these victims. Governor Hogan recently announced Maryland's first anti human trafficking director. As a father, you know, I'm heartbroken for these daughters and sons who are being victimized and brutalized. Right now, Maryland has just two formal shelters for human trafficking victims. Right now, frontline responders spend hours making phone call after phone call after phone call. Do you have a bed? Do you have a bed? Do you have a bed? These groups want to improve on that. There were 115 cases in Maryland reported to the National Human Trafficking Hotline last year. I'm Pat Warren reporting live for WJZ.